Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being a part of this. And thanks for all the participants and all the speakers. We at Julia Computing are just thrilled to be sponsoring this event and thrilled to see all the engagement and talks that it's creating. It's just uh, really, really exciting to, to see what's happening and, and see all the, the, the great developments throughout the Julia ecosystem. My name is Matt Bauman. I'm talking on behalf of the company here, founded by the six folks that you hopefully can see on the left there. Our, our company has been growing like bang, gangbusters. Uh, the 2019 company shot there is on the screen and there's now about 40 of us. Uh, so we continue to strive to do great things. I just have five minutes here, but I have some really exciting things to share with you. So I hope you'll stick around for it. Uh, the um, yeah, at Julia Computing, we you know work with enterprise customers and companies to try to help make them use Julia as effectively as possible. This takes the form of a bunch of products that we have, and has allowed us to work with some really cool companies and work with some folks doing really amazing things. Uh, in particular, I'll talk a little bit about Julia Team and Julia Run. That's what allows you to use private packages really nicely. But for the most part of today's quick thing, I want to talk about Julia Hub, which hopefully all of you know and recognize and have been to. If, if not, I encourage you to check out juliahub.com. We see that as your entry point into Julia and, and the center point of all Julia development. So you can browse documentation, search through the repositories, see what's there, see what's available, and even register open source packages. But there's a missing piece here in our eyes, and that's getting code running and making code run well. And so I want to demonstrate uh, some upcoming functionality that we're going to incorporate into Julia Hub to launch code uh, in the cloud. And to do that, I want to lean on Alpha Zero. And Alpha Zero is this really cool machine learning framework that combines learning and search to solve complex and arbitrary problems. And it's started from the game of Go, which is this crazy game with so many complex trees and, and things to, to search through. And, and uh, AlphaZero solves this by leaning heavily on com compute. Uh, and in Julia, we are so fortunate to have great contributors to the ecosystem, like Jonathan Laurent, who we've been working with for the past two weeks to help deploy AlphaZero on the cloud. And AlphaZero.jl is his package that takes the work and, and makes it simple, extensible, and fast, and kind of is an a awesome learning platform to understand how AlphaZero works. And it's extensible using Julia's great generic interfaces to allow you to play with new games. You can see in the logo there, it's not just for Go anymore. There's chess, tic-tac-toe. We'll be demonstrating uh, Connect 4. Um, and of course, since it's all leaning on Julia, uh, it's understandable, well-documented, and fast, between one to two orders of magnitude faster than any other high-level alternative. Traditionally, Alpha Zero implementations have been written in C++ or C or other hard languages and, and very tied to their distributed you know, coding code mechanisms because you have to do a lot of compute to get a, an agent trained up. Uh, well, Alpha Zero uses all of Julia's great parallelism tools, including distributed, multi-threading, and GPU parallelism to, to get the most out of all of your things. So you can run this today on, on your desktop computers, uh, and it'll take about 12 hours or more to train a, a good Connect4 game player. Uh, and we want to show this and get this parallelized on the cloud. So let's look at what that looks like. Here we have Julia Hub in an internal release that has the, the run on cloud functionality for up and running. Uh, you can see I can add Jonathan Lawrence package here and a run in cloud button appears. I can click that. You can see it already knows the project and manifest, so it knows exactly what code to, to send out to all the workers. I can additionally tweak parameters right here in the web UI, or I can select a particular branch to run off of. I have all the parameters coded up the way I want them to, to be on a particular branch here, so I'll choose those. Now here comes the fun part. You can pick your cluster uh, to your heart's content here. How many nodes, how many threads, 
what you want to use. In this case, we want to use GPU nodes, right? So we can pick a, a beefy GPU to use, grab uh, 11 nodes, and hit start. While that's starting, I can point out some other things here. You know, we have some time or cost limits to make sure you don't go over budget as you submit your jobs. And there you go. You can see that we've successfully submitted our job. Now it'll we'll appear down in this bottom table where you can see exactly what we ran, what our inputs are. You can have a place for outputs, or you can even just watch the logs roll in live and see them start coming through. This is a little abridged because I only have five minutes, uh, but you can see it's starting to learn and starting to, to grab uh, the, um, the loss and iterating here. And so that is Alpha Zero doing its thing on the cloud. Now, that's just half the story, right? Getting code up and running in the cloud is great and all, but you really want to introspect the results and see what's going to happen. So let's switch over to VS Code, of course, right? And while Sebastian's been working on all of the things there, he's also been working on an interconnect to Julia Hub, where we can download the results from a, uh, from a run from there. You can see the job list. And I'm just going to untar these results uh, into my local namespace here. And Alpha Zero has built into it some really cool tools for learning and introspection. So we can go to the file browser, pick out some of the plots that it generates. There's lots of depth here and lots of ways of exploring how Alpha Zero does its thing. I encourage you to check that out. Let's just look at the, the benchmark of what percentage of wins do, did we have on each iteration after, uh, after each training. And you can see after about five iterations, we are getting pretty good agent. Um, it's even more fun, though, to, to see what happens as you, you know, run your scripts and, and do this uh, as, as you go. So you can, can run Alpha Zero, run this agent, and play a game against it, and just kind of watch, you know, watch it, choose what to play, choose which positions to go, and you can see here uh, exactly what it recommends, and you can decide to follow that or do something different. You can even play blind against it. At this point, uh, I believe Alpha Zero will never lose. Uh, this is uh, a relatively simple game that it can learn and understand pretty quickly. Um, and this only took two hours to train. So whereas it would have taken 12 hours on a single desktop, this only took two hours because I was able to distribute it across 10 workers. So this is all very exciting. Um, but now I've, I've introspected it. Let's change something. So we can change some aspect of the, the neural network. And we can resubmit a new job now without even leaving VS Code. We can go in here pick up, design our cluster, figure out exactly how we want our cluster to look. Uh, say, oh, yep, we want to use GPUs here. You know, pick out our, our 10 workers, you know, figure, get this all set up, and hit start. So this is, we see this as just a huge leap forward in how you'll be able to scale your code. And there's just one more thing. This actually wasn't running in VS Code. It was running in Chrome. And this is one of the really cool things that VS Code enables is that there's, you know, we can run this code in the browser on a remote machine. Uh, and so we just see this as a huge, huge, huge leap forward between all the great work in VS Code plus the ability now to, to deploy on the cloud. We want you to, to sign up and, and get on board. We don't have this public yet, but we're going to start launching this to early access folks. So. I demoed here in this quick five minutes I uh, was compute on Julia Hub and connect to it via VS Code. So check that out. Follow that link, register your interest, and we'll be in touch. Now, Julia Hub is powered by Julia Team and Julia Run. You can learn more about how this works and how this can, the same architecture can be extended to work with private packages, registry management, get things running behind firewalls, behind air gaps provide governance and security that you need, and even connect into on-prem clusters. So I'll be demoing that today, tomorrow, and Friday. A lot more to cover here than I can possibly do. Um, so I encourage you to, to sign up for those, juliacomputing.com slash events. Sign up for one of those slots. 
uh, or register your interest in the individual user, uh, Julia Hub. So thanks everyone and, and have a great conference.